Yo, it's your boy the Android Dr. Back again with another video. So I'm here with a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror the phone's display to your smart TV. I'm going to go to sources. And then I'm going to go across to where it says wireless. And then hit OK. Then it will bring you to this screen here where it says wireless display ready for connection to get started launch wireless display on your computer or smartphone. So on my smartphone, the S21 Ultra, I'm going to pull down the notifications and go across and look for smart view. So there it is. If you don't see smart view, select the little plus sign and then have a look through the available buttons up here at the top and then when you find it just drag and drop it into the blank space there and hit done i don't have to do that guys because it's already there by default so i'm just going to select smart view and now it's going to search for my tv so there it is hitachi so i'm just going to select it and then you get this little notification smart mirroring with smart view smart view will have access to the info on your screen or played from your phone while mirroring this can include passwords payment details pictures messages and more so start now and then it's going to say connecting to wireless display please wait sometimes guys it can take like two or three attempts to actually get it to connect so if it fails the first time just try again if it fails again just try again just repeat the steps until it connects so it looks as if it's gonna fail here because usually it doesn't take so long okay so yeah it's failed so let's just go ahead and try again so smart view <clears throat> wait for it to find my TV start now okay so it should have connected now okay so as you can see guys my phone's display is now mirrored to my 42 inch smart tv at home so i can view everything what's happening on the smartphone on the bigger screen can also view pictures guys any pictures that you have on the device you can zoom in and you can see all the details guys look at that Okay, let me just turn up the volume a little bit here. You can also view your videos. So let me just turn up the volume so you can hear the video when it's playing. Okay, so let's play this video. That's how you go in. <laughs> Yo, how's it going? I just want to know how's it going? What are you doing? You're just chilling on your laptop, having a cup of tea. That's how you go in. <laughs> I can't rap. Okay, I actually need to rotate the video. Yo, how's it going? I just want to know how's it going. What are you well, you all get the drift. So you can watch videos, um, view pictures. You can also browse the internet but what I like to use it for guys I actually like to use it to play games so I'm just gonna start up a game so let me start with PUBG Okay, 
Turn down the volume. Don't want no music playing in the background. Okay, let me just wipe the display there. There's a few fingerprints on it. Okay, so let's start up a quick match. You can also view my FPS. As you can see. So we're getting 32 frames there, 20 frames. So as you can see guys, it does work very well. There's probably a slight, very slight delay of about half a second. Can't really notice it that much. Okay, so you can definitely notice it in the plane here. You can see the delay there. Okay, guys, you can also use your controller as well. So I'm just going to fire up Grid Auto Sport real quick. And then... Um, connect my PS4 controller one second guys Grid is a good game, but my god, it does take a long time to load up and actually get the game started. Okay, so let's just set the phone there. Okay, so I actually need to go into the settings. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, guys, so I've got the controls set up. So as you can see, guys, there's definitely some delay here when you're playing the game but it's really not that bad the game is 100% playable god my driving sucks
And guys, this is a 4K TV as well. I just thought I'd throw that in there. So yeah guys, that's it for the video. That's how you set up the screen mirroring on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. If this video helped you out, you already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It's your boy the Android Doctor. And I'm out, see you in the next video. Watch this quick handbrake turn. Do some donuts. Anyway, I'm out, guys. Peace.